have much better matchups against Druid than they do uh, against the Handlock deck. So I'm, I'm yeah. a little surprised by this decision making from Tempo Storm. That, that's certainly one level. I think the next level above that is picking uh, Warlock and expecting your opponent to pick Warlock because if you get Druid, you're happy. If you get Warlock, it's a 50-50 matchup, especially with a slower zoo that's not as face-oriented to try to rush the game. You have Dr. Boom, you have Malganus as well. So if you feel like you have a decent chance to win that, but say you lose the zoo versus Handlock, you still have Hunter to, to fall back upon. You can corner the Druid and multiple anchor. times until Freeze Mage comes up, and then you toss a coin. Like, then Garo plays Hunter, and then yeah. Elise plays Zoo again, and then you get the same position. You got the Mage, yeah. But, yeah, ultimately, I think I still think the Hunter made... Uh, made it easier as well because you're spreading the the check marks around as well. There's that. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, this is again a very it's a must win situation because the druid will have to beat like the freeze mage or the freeze mage will have to beat the druid if this is the case. Like you're just gonna have to make sure that priest avoids handlock and druid avoids the freeze mage. That's the goals for Temple Storm. For now on, it's just win. Like win at, at any cost, even if it's a bad matchup. Just do your best to win. All right, so Mulligan, two cards, like two Doom Guards, were no keeps for Eloise, so she got rid of them. It's a pretty weak hand on Eloise's part. It's she a has, weird hand, definitely. Yeah. She has she has a lot of resilient minions, but she doesn't have any aggressive minions, and it's it's interesting because this is actually a matchup where, uh, in some cases, you know, the early pressure is very important because you do want to be able to actually uh, play to the board against the handlock, but actually doing a lot of damage to them quickly is not necessarily in your best interest because right. of Molten Giant. And a lot of times, Molten Giant is just dead um, if you are able to loom in that mid-range spot. But you are giving your opponent time. And now that's one way to Whoa. commandingly seize the board. You can just coin... Yeah, there is no that's, way you don't yeah, that's coin that PO. Play here. Well, she doesn't coin PO because not. BGH yeah. would actually punish it. Never mind. There's too much all-in yeah, on, on it yeah. with a coin. And again, the rush is not to kill them immediately. Uh, it's the fact that you have something on the board. You have something on the board. You're like looming to th threaten whatever comes out here. Like Mountain Giant is not actually that big of a deal. If Implosion hits for four, is even better. But not by much. I mean, PO is a really safe play. It just kind of I mean, power overwhelming and the M Gang boss, or, or even like Implosion M Gang boss or Implosion. Oh, power, power overwhelm your yeah. no. It's it's all reasonable. <laughs> Everything is weird. Yeah, I guess like trading the uh, the Ruby Nag is fine. I mean, you did get the the health transferred over to the three five, and you were gonna have to address that uh, the giant eventually. I can I can anticipate that she wants to really hold on to the implosion post AoE, it's, and Lyco is going to be looking for that. Um, he's in an awkward spot once again, having Void Collar with no demons, and it feels like Life Coach always has options in the early game, but they're not very good. And I, I kind of feel bad because it just seems like Handlock is hitting its very weird inconsistency. Yeah, usually it's, it's usually one of the, usually it's one of the most. most consistent yeah. because of how often it draws. One of the things that he just hasn't seen is Twilight Drake. It's We've seen anything. one, but he didn't never played it. Not, not, not in the early game. Yeah, uh, definitely is, not. Twilight Drake. You know, while uh, the Mountain Giant is obviously a great, great turn for play in this matchup, it's actually the, the health of your minions is far more important than their actual attack. Having a four ten Twilight Drake in turn four against two, other than against Iron Beast, right? Owl being an example that's very niche. Yeah, the, it's actually it's actually better for you because it's able to kill more minions while surviving its, itself with its uh, larger body. Right. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Void Cover come out here just because it's a body on the board and you also threaten the bigger minions. You know, it's a threat at the same time as it actually allows you to use the Hellfire Dark Bomb or Hellfire Coil might force uh, the more owl, effectively. Honestly. Yeah, that's kind of how it feels. I think Owl's just so important in this matchup simply because of uh, how important it is to be able to actually get by big taunts. Sure. I mean, here, the, the scary thing, of course, is if your opponent does hit Alganis or hits Doom Guard, um, but at the same time, you know, is is that scarier for you in the long run in the game than your opponent having access to a taunted Molten Giant later on? That's I, fair. That's a fair point. Hypothetically, she could also deal with it through implosions and then trades on things. Uh, Doom Guard is problematic. It just has the same amount of health. She might opt to ignore, and that gives Life Coach an opportunity. So this is this is a really interesting choice here for Eloise to see. If she can kind of peg Life Coach and not have anything, and if she does, uh, will she go for the trade? Implosion is a strange choice here. My, I think that I would go with Abusive Sergeant. It looks like she's... With or without the Owl. 
I, I, I think I would I would probably abuse of Sergeant Creeper and go. Yeah, looks like she is doing in fact exactly that. Yes. Wow, she calls it, and there's nothing that comes out on the other side. Life coach's bluff was called. Well, I mean, that's that's one of the things that, that against yeah. these demon handlock decks, there aren't that many demons. You know, there aren't actually that many that many the threats strip, that can come with a void yeah. caller, and particular when you're, particularly when you're playing a matchup like this that can be you know so uh, so clutch uh, in terms of your ability to need yeah. to deal with certain threats. I think that that Eloise is totally correct to actually save that owl. That, that was a very. I mean, the saving the owl is great. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, but owl, to be able to make that call, and not ignore and just like attack face and be aggressive. I I disagree with her ordering. I probably would have attacked that first to figure right. out what happened. But I, I, I guess if there answer. was a Melganus, yeah, that maybe that's actually worse. So maybe no, maybe that was actually just 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 great. Ends up working out fine, and life coach is now uh, he's get he's getting more intense by the turn. Yeah, I mean the, you can coil right now to actually figure out what comes out if it's a. Uh, the heal bot's not a bad card, but with the molten in hand, you're not gonna, you're not about to use that anytime yeah. soon. And gang boss will come out. You get away with playing an ancient Ooh, watch. There is a little, a late, little late, late, a little late for the party. Melganus uh, drawn yep. right afterwards. It looks like we're gonna see. Yeah, that's that uh, ancient right. watcher come down with sun fury protect. I like this a lot. I mean, it's going to at least weaken the board from Eloise and allow the hellfire to do what it does best. So, kind of liking this. Yeah, this is probably gonna provoke. Implosion. <laughs> yeah. Although, I think tapping is perfectly reasonable. We'll see what happens first. M King boss? Oh, okay. I was like, I was like wait, I'm what? pretty sure. It's, like, <laughs> it's a very clean trade no matter what outcome it is. And ultimately, the two versus the three. The two plosion here is actually is actually a pretty big deal. It's, yeah, it's, it is. I mean, I, she would likely actually probably want to, want to attack in with the. Uh, with the. What's that guy? Void Terror. Void Terror. <laughs> Then uh, attack with the end, but gotcha. but be... I think almost any kind of circumstance, Hellfire would be problematic. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in the end, it somewhat didn't matter because the imps, of course, won't do anything. But the Void Terror, even if it got an optimal trade, would still at best be a three three uh, against the two three. So I think um, in this scenario, it's implosion was somewhat inconsequential as long as it just happened. So this might provoke a response. Uh, Life Coach is not in a position to Hellfire and then play a Molten Giant, I believe. No, he's going to be a little short man. He's going to be one, one mana thing. short. And, and even then, you, you, feel, might you still not. feel like you can get away with not playing the Molten Giant because... What about just Drake yeah. trade into the Void Terror? you can taunt it afterwards. Is that ever a play or is Hellfire mandatory right now? Because, I mean, the Drake does put up a really big body on the board to use as trading, and you can also combine it with the Molten... Uh, with Sun Fury. It's a tough position because if you if you attack into the spider and then Hellfire, you're actually still leaving your opponent with, with three power. Right, play. Exactly. You're going you're going down to fourteen, 14. from Hellfire alone. Yeah, so you'd be on eleven technically and you, possibly mm, less than that. But you're also past the you're also past the mana turn point where uh He's you, panicking. You, you can taunt and heal. That's one of the things that you have to always be careful of. Life co is Life Coach playing two games at once? Wait, he didn't uh, Sun Fury. Oh, I guess no, he didn't no, he's, saving, he's saving Sun Fury, I believe, for Molten Giant, yeah. which, which I definitely appreciate. And here, I mean, this could potentially bait out the Owl from Eloise. I doubt it won't. I, I, I imagine uh, you know, it, it, it will not. I hope it will not for oh, her sake. But... Life Coach is not happy. What, what did it, was there a misplay that I missed? Uh, it looks like he's, he's sort of calculating things, talking to himself, shaking his head. Wow. He is the definition of mad scientist. He's, he, his intensity when he plays is incredible to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fine because oh, it's not in the room. <laughs> he's talking he wants. He goes just talking German. Like, yeah, you understand. Yeah. And she might just do the uh, the Chinese, right? <laughs> so well, we, uh, they're taking a very long time on some of these turns, mm -hmm. but for very good reason. This is the tournament life on the line. Oof, and the, the owl does come down to take out the... I'd be afraid of a shadow flame if I didn't owl this. It would be even yeah, worse. That's, 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 that's fair, that's fair. I mean, Hellfire is still a problem. One thing that um, Life Coach does do is if, she, if Eloise attacks fully into this, he can do Hellfire plays. Right, she's but like, because oh, she's, she's actually she's not. She's she accounting for hand Hellfire. Lock. Yeah, she's accounting for Hellfire. You told me she was a pretty proficient handlock player, and this kind of shows right there. Just uh, she knows when somebody goes all in and gets punished. Handlock is actually one of the decks that that is probably the most important to have familiarity with to yeah. play against. 
I actually remember my uh, my very first tournament that I, uh, that I played in <laughs> after uh, after I sort of started playing, uh, where I played against I believe it was named Rhea playing Handlock, and this was back in last last year. Standing, he just right. crushed me three games in a row, and he messaged me after. He's like, "You haven't played against Handlock much ever." Right? Yeah. Like, actually, never. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very surprising day the first time you run into it, but then well, as soon as you know there were game mix, it's a little easier to. to predict i mean it's 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 so hard yeah it takes it takes a lot of getting used to just in terms of understanding the various health and mana flash points that are important for the various giant combinations so i think on the other side too handlock's one of the hardest decks to play in hearthstone yeah. and it forever will be perfectly uh, because most... because of how much it dances with disaster with the health lines uh mm -hmm. you always are in danger of dying so you have to know the metagame like the back of your hand so here, not playing. I mean, he didn't want a dark bomb, is my guess. He definitely wants a sun fury, because if he wanted to dark bomb, obviously yeah. popping the spider first was uh, was correct. Oh! Uh, whoa! Whoa! whoa that man. is potentially really scary in about a yeah, turn. Yeah, because of no. uh, the idea that the oh get my popped. god! Wow. I, I don't know. I mean, I think Implosion yeah, might be better. Is better. I, I agree that Implosion is better. I think that... <laughs> now that I think of it... Ellie should, should, is in a position where she can attack her uh, her spiders in and then Implosion the Four, five. the Watcher, and then yeah. she's going to have a huge amount of, of potential demons threatening for the next turn. Right. And, and even then, if they're 1-1s, one right? It doesn't her, matter. Her right? opponent just used... They're 1-1s one for now. Yeah, they're 1-1s for now, exactly. Just uh, hold, your, hold your breath. I mean, Life Coach did just use the board clearing effect. Well, okay, so I mean, the molten is. is still troublesome because it does go through, uh, like that's three M's dead. Oh, Ooh. that is it. Eloise's second two plosion of the game, which yeah. imp it hurts in particular right now because it actually it costs her multiple imps. Not only does it give her fewer imps, but she has to attack in with the additional one here. Right. Yeah. And Hellfire is, like, I mean, Shadow Flame is kind of scary here as well, right? Because the attack into the void. You walk, can't play around Shadow Flame. Yeah, I, of course, it's too late. You're basically all in at this point. Yeah. And, oh! Oh! Wait, 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 wait! Wow. wait that's six damage left. If she, if life coach goes for this, that's that's really big. Yeah. So attack, shadow flame, two imps spawn, molten giant defender. I mean, molten giant antique heal body even. Yeah. That's bringing Anti -heal you up. Antique heal body is yeah. probably good enough. Wow, this, these have been a couple of, of huge swings in these turns. Actually, you would go antique heal body, shadow flame, or would you rather keep the? Because you could keep the two, three, and. Oh, which one? No, is this three, three is better. A... Three, three is better. Yeah. Yeah, you can just attack. I wonder if he's actually just going to play the uh, defender now. He can play defender and heal bot, which is way actually, worse. It's, right it's, now, it's bad. Well, it's way worse against Melganis, but it looks like it's a very strong play in general. If if Life Coach does this, he's signing his own death warrant. It's it's not, not it's, not, it's not a total disaster, but it ends up going quite and it looks like that's the play he's going for. Maybe he actually cast Shadow Flame afterwards. Yeah, he can cast Shadow Flame on cast Defender Shadow Flame of afterwards. And it looks like yeah. Oh it's... man. Malganis. Is... So does Malganis do a lot here because he's gonna spawn imps that are smaller. The thing yeah. is there's no answer for Malganis from uh, from Life Coach there's... or Elus Elu 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 side. I think. Yeah, there's Dark Bomb. So Malganis, yeah, snap play, but it's a disaster, but not a complete one because Life Coach still has a way to deal with it. It's not as though the board was he actually, white. Yeah, he actually can clear this Malganis right. off the board with uh, the Dark Bomb or Shadow Flame. Right, right. Dark Bomb's probably going to be preferable. Shadow Flame will be the ultimate. Well, Shadow, answer. Shadow Flame may may. Uh, actually, no, he probably won't need the Shadow Hunt because those imps will just be 1-1 one, one afterwards. Afterward, so, yeah, the threat is not big enough. After think about how different this game is if uh, if Eloise hit even 3 on, on, on that implosion. She has two more imps in play. Malganis stays alive. And Mal Malganis is able, she's able to clear the entire board and Malganis lives. Alright, so we'll see what Life Coach does. Is Whoa! That's... Um, that's really a really big draw. There's a lot of nine cost demons going, <laughs> just hanging out that's in the really game. everywhere. <laughs> in the next couple of turns here, um, the, 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 the weird thing too is that like, Life Coach can't do anything else turn outside the Dark Bomb. He could tap if he wants to. I mean, Yeah, so he's going to most likely tap. Yeah, are you afraid though of the Doom Guards and the P.O.s? You haven't seen, you've yeah, seen you one P.O.? You're fine, you're fine. Yeah. You've seen one power of a Wombing. Uh, be I say you go for the tap. 15. Most likely you can pick up mid-range mini. He still has to hit Sludge Belchers and other cards like that. Do they get played in that deck? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. You don't, don't go don't play my about sludge belchers. Don't try that at home, kids. <laughs> There's mountains. Yeah. So it looks like, I mean, Life Coach can trade his board 
Ooh, okay. Well, this actually gets a lot better now. He can actually play the yeah. Defender of Argus if he wants. And trade attack a... just the, the uh, heal bot into Mulganus, Dark Bomb, and then kill one of these uh, these minions, or just go face. Pretty good top deck for Life Coach. Yeah, that was an excellent draw on Life Coach's part. So, I think Eloise is stuck, like, hoping for Dr. Boom. Yeah, she's, she's in a really bad position now, particularly given the Mulganus and Jaraxxus in Life Coach's hand. Okay. And that doesn't help nearly as much as uh, she wants, but it's something to play, at least. She, uh, she can tap, so like now she can tap with. She can play Void Caller and Defender of Argus and then tap, and then at worst, the flame gets pulled out without doing the damage. Um, before, like, you're always worried about making sure that you can have board presence here and without losing too much, but. Does that change your turn I at all? It's okay. Probably not. Because it's just, uh, just going to die most likely if you play it, so you could keep it for the following turn. Yeah, I don't think the juggles actually change anything. Here, no, they really don't. The only thing that it... Because the Void Caller doesn't really pull out anything else of note or, of notoriety, because Doomguard can just be played from the hand. That is a top deck. The only exception is if Doomguard gets tapped into Dr. Boom, for example. So this this is her best chance. But this is where the, just keeping the Shadow Flame is just so big and, and potential. Because like even though Eloise might build the board up with smaller minions, he always has the final trump card. Mm -hmm. They play Draxxus here. Oh. Or is that too weak? Because you have Malaganus coming up, you have the Infernals for the Shadow Flames, you can clean up pretty much everything um, after this point. Or is Malaganus just straight up better? Yeah, he Malaganus thinks Malaganus is, is better. <laughs> I mean, how no. do you deal 7 damage through the Dawn? It's like 10 damage Eloise needs to get before she can even hit face ever again. Yeah, she's gonna have to tap. I think the Malaganus represents a, a win. Like, it's, it's like a game, it's yeah. a win condition, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's still possible, though. We're looking at, uh, like, if you use the juggler yeah, with the, the... Yeah, play out the hand. It's actually possibly going to clean up the board completely, I think. Juggles hit perfectly. Well, in the best case scenario, it isolates Malganus, so that way you can't... Uh, like, if he Shadow Flames, he has to commit Malganus to it, right. or uh, Malganus has to get through the taunts. As long as it doesn't hit the face, Malganus right? Malganus for one. Yeah, as long as it doesn't hit the face. I think, yeah, you want to trade in here, and now you want to play another another minion. Waywalker on the outside. To try and shoot Malgan. One on each. Oh! Free Flame him. Wow! No and damage. It, it juggles on the 2 1. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, one more juggle, one more juggle. Oh! oh sniper my juggler goodness. there. The board is gone, but hey. I mean, Life Coach does still have a very powerful. Yeah, yeah. Here. He, has, just, he has Lord Jaraxxus, as well as Twilight well, Drake plus. Shadow I mean, the, Dra the Jaraxxus is not good here. It's only good as a way to secure his win. Oof. So he, he can Shadow Flame this. Yeah, I like the Shadow Flame. But sure. if Eloise grabs some kind of Doom board guard, with Doom Guard or with Dr. Boom, Dr. Boom, and she has a tap to get there. Yeah. No? Power overwhelming. And then. Dr. Oh! Boom! Oh, wow! wow. I mean, the uh, Dr. Boom is such a big deal because uh, the power Life Coach doesn't have it. He doesn't have any big game hunter. Or does he? Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> right back at you! There's two damage, <laughs> plus the, the, the four, the power of a well. Doom Guard six. could seal this. Doom Guard could seal it. Hypothetically speaking. Uh, hypothetically, Doom Guard could do the. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's oh, pretty oh, good. Actually, Doom into, Guard. into a, a Doom Guard. You see Eloise. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! What? The Doomguard arrives! Is that lethal? I, I don't know! I, I think it's... it might be! I don't do math! That's it! That's, 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 that's enough! That was a game! What a crazy game! Exactly! That was lethal. exact wow. lethal! That was one of Are the you craziest kidding me? games of Hearthstone that I have ever seen. There were so many huge swings back and forth. Wow! Oh my god. Look at the crowd there. They're just in shock. shock. Yeah. In absolute shock. <laughs> Even yeah. Wreckful is smiling. <laughs> when is he not? Yeah, wife, wife coach is dead. <laughs> <That was, laughs> wow, that was that, that was, was a broken oh man. He's goodness. a broken man. That was an amazing end. And, and now oh, life coach is benched. Wild. He's benched. Now life oh, coach is benched. Right. So, it is huge. So now